You're watching The Breakfast Club. Uh, Morning, everybody. Bring it, yeah. It's DJ and the Angela. You he got it. I mean, the guy we are, The Breakfast Club. Now, this guy had been here two oh, minutes and he man. already lied to us. Joe oh, Button is man. here to give y'all some money. Hey, hey hit all, the applause. First of all, <laughs> hit Joe something. Here. Good he morning. Said, he said he was never coming on The Breakfast Club again. He said that? He did. I don't remember that. That was, that was good. Joe Button says a lot of things. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, first of all. You know, Envy got light skin memory, so he remember everything that <laughs> hurt him at some point. I don't remember that. I said that as a rapper, Envy, when you was acting spicy last time I was in here. Oh. What happened? Y'all remember Envy was telling me I was a failure and a loser? What? <laughs> he did? You yeah. did not no, no, say no, no, that. No, no, no. But, but it depends what career path he was talking about. <laughs> what was he talking about? <laughs> okay, what was he talking about? I, I don't... I don't know. Was it, it the was battle? Was it was the battle? He was telling. Was, no, as a this rapper. Is, this is rapper Joe when he had the tour and, uh, he, would, and he would post his his dates on his social media at the time. Eh, I mean, Joe could and, always rap though. He could always. But, he could always rap. but at the time, Envy was making it sound. And you know, I, I thank you for that because it helped me realize a few things. But he was making it sound yeah. then like if you weren't putting it on Instagram, it wasn't happening. And I was just late to the party of realizing that people actually thought like that. So mm-hmm. that was our argument then. Right. And then I left there and I started trying to. Post it on Instagram, and then I'm looking I'm like, I'm really trash. <laughs> like, yeah, this shit I, I is heard horrible. you said it on your podcast that you was late to the party on something social media wise, and that's kind of interesting because you was always on the internet first. Yes, he was before Dude, everybody else. else. Yeah, but late to certain realizations on the internet. Like okay. I was on the internet, but you weren't promoting. I was probably yeah, I was never promoting. Right. Never promoting. Even like today, that. I don't. I'm not. That's not who I am. That's not. It's not what I do well. Yeah, he just goes bit. on Twitter. He's like, "Good morning, everyone." Podcast nah, you know what's <laughs> funny? When when we let go of Marissa from the podcast because she was our our retweeter mm-hmm. of things. When she left, me and Rory was just like, "All right, we just." No, you said let try go to at retweet first. everything. You said let go at first, so you admitted and you fired her. I did. I, oh, I, I got you. Yeah, no, okay. I did. Out of love. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes you fire people out of love. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like you. It's not like you. I mean, you can put anybody in those positions, really. It is the no, Joe Budden podcast. N- no, no, no. You you could. But yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to take good care of people. I apologize to you on air the other morning. Did you hear Joe? I didn't hear it, no. and I work here. No, I apologize. What you happened? heard it, Sean. <laughs> yeah, he did. He said, I was at the barbershop, and he when he told me you were going to stop rapping, I didn't believe we were in the barbershop, and I was like, why would you do that? You're nice. He was like, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. Oh, yeah, we had that. And I, I tried. I called you to try to get you on my album, mm. and you told me no, and I was like, come on, Joe, and I apologize. Like, you thought it through, and you stuck with it. I'm Thank proud. you. I'm proud I don't like when they call Joe. you in articles like a one-hit wonder. I saw that was the title. <laughs> Damn, you. Yeah, yeah, why? <laughs> I, listen, I, I'm counting Marcus I'm Houston. <laughs> Marcus Houston. <laughs> clubbing. Don't do that. Yep. He was on clubbing? See? He was on clubbing. <laughs> yes. You're putting on clubbing. Oh, in the club. You do remember. Come on, do that, Charlamagne. I, I don't think I ever. Uh, Charlamagne. I have never paid any Marcus Houston record attention. No, that record was. It was and you okay. remember Focus? I remember Focus. That was, that was, on, that was on DJ Envy's I wouldn't album, call it a hit, but that it did was well. Kind of a hit. Yeah, it did well. It made the top eight at eight. <laughs> <laughs> now, was the Joe Budden rebrand a conscious decision? Uh, no. It wasn't? Conscious. You know, when I was doing my, my last album, when I did Rage in the Machine, before I did that album, I was trying to figure out how to rebrand, but as an, as an MC. Mm-hmm. Never this. So this wasn't a calculated thought out. I knew I wanted to do broadcasting. Mm-hmm. And that was it. I'm telling you, I was late to the party of even realizing that everybody thought I was so trash. <laughs> but nobody ever thought you was trash Not as, as an MC. I'm just yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. just the way that you was living. Just you, you just was a living. person. Just living. You living. You living trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah get yeah. yourself together. So I think. I think that when. I think that when you may, I may started to make certain changes for myself. Good things started to happen, and the universe started to respond. And I started to have a lot of those conversations, like I had with Envy, about people. Not understanding the retirement from rap thing. Mm-hmm. Well, some rappers stop texting me. <laughs> really? They stop talking to me altogether. Yeah, because you started talking about them. Probably. I've been talking about them. I've been talking about yeah. them. That's that's my thing. I've talked about rappers my entire career. It's got me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> the media thing isn't new either, though, because you used to be on Hot ninety seven back in the day. Mm-hmm. In the morning show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sleeping underneath the the counter. Rumor had that you was in this uh, sleeping with uh, an executive for a job. Is that true? No, I didn't fuck Tracy. 
I didn't say anything. Oh my God, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe Budd. Clean that up immediately. I didn't say anything. Because I know, I know the rumor. I heard the rumor. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. I heard it. Who told you that, Angela? Oh my God. Well, you know, because she'd be up here telling Come all the shit. Come on now, stop it. She never worked at Hot 97. Why would I know that? She know the dirt. But she never worked at Hot 97. Don't try to throw it at me. Don't try to throw it at me. <laughs> Yo, your whole face turn red. <laughs> I, I like Tracy. I didn't, I didn't say that. I love Tracy. Tracy is Tracy is great. She gave me my start. She, she gave me my start. And she seen the vision before radio. Else did. As somebody, I was telling her, "Yo, I'm scared to death. <laughs> like I don't belong on the air." She's like, "Man, if you don't just go on the air," mm-hmm. and it was great. I yeah. loved it. And you stopped because because Kevin Lyles made me. Wow. Kevin Lyles made me. Mm-hmm. He didn't think that you could sell records and be accessible. Uh, every day on the airwaves. He didn't think that was it. And I was 22, 23 at the time. Oh, wow. So it was like, you know, you got time on your side, so... Yeah, I want to rap. So a let's morning do that. show is a big responsibility too, because you gotta be there every day. And well, he it would does, sleep on the floor. It does hurt, like when you have travel. You have to travel, go on tour, go on the road. It's kind of difficult when. Well, at twenty two, twenty three, you don't really know that you have to be responsible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I didn't think about any of that. You learn those things. Yeah, people yeah, don't good. think you're responsible. Not. I was talking to somebody the other day, and I said, "Yo, thanks, you know- Charlamagne." No, I said, <laughs> "I said, yo, I think y'all should hire Joe Budden for y'all morning show." They called you Joe Burden. Wow. They said that mm-hmm. he's not. Uh, That's pretty slick. He's they not just reliable or consistent. Oh, I said, I don't know. You got to stop changed. talking to Complex. <laughs> this guy's got, what happened this at guy's, Complex? No, not Complex. This is radio. You got to stop All right, but talking. aside from that, what did happen at Everyday Struggle? Like, I know it was a financial thing where you felt you were supposed to get a certain amount of money. No, that was at the end. That was at Okay, that, but did you not love being there? Like, what was the real issue? Um, Creative, it, creative differences. Creative differences. I think that uh, the idea of what I thought it would be going in and probably what it turned out to be in the, by the end of it, just real different. What'd you think it would be? Um, I thought it'd be a bit more mature. Mm-hmm. And I'm not knocking it because I, I thought that that had the potential to be the greatest thing ever. But I just thought some of the content would be a bit more mature. So they picked the content? Or, or it was a collaborative, you? collaborative effort. More you still beast? watch it now? No, no. They wanted more beats, more problems. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out when when it's, when I want to hear something that maybe Act got to say, mm-hmm. but that's not very. It's not often. Yeah, I can see it in your face that that wasn't gonna last though. Let the record show. I called <laughs> it. I was only. You a did week call off. it, but you called yes. it because you thought it would be insubordination on my part. It technically wasn't. No, I just said Joe's gonna. Get, I said Joe's gonna get fed up and walk away from it in I some way, shape, or form. Definitely didn't think Joe was gonna follow through with that one. I, was like, I gonna definitely do that for a couple did. of weeks. And Look at then how people get talk about you, Joe. This is crazy. No, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> I, you know, I these two people are some of the people I appreciate. Not very many people are honest with me. <laughs> I feel the same way about Joe. No, though. They're I, honest. Do they I, think you think the Joe Button podcast is gonna last as long as it did? Well, that's different. Yes, that's, I could be a. Uh, I thought that was gonna work. I could be a fuckhead on my own shit, mm-hmm. but no, not on somebody else's. So what they wasn't they- paying me enough to, to to deal with some of those things, mm-hmm. but but I had a vision. Like that was the first time that complex situation. That was the first time it was like you know what? Let me really stay out of my own way. I want to quit. I want to go in there and tell all these people suck my dick. But wow, there's a greater there's a greater cause. So I'm gonna just stay. And it was a certain point in that mix. I don't remember the month, but you could cut on the screen and see that he wasn't playing no more. Like. He don't care, but who's a novice, who's new, who can't interview, who... Joe is turning it up now. And I was saying at the time, I said, it's just wild that every other company, you could tell that radio uh, person that said this too, every company in in the world is looking at my value, and it's high. (laughs) Odd that y'all are the only ones that that don't recognize that. Yeah, but they want you to be around, though. Like, you know, it's like, yeah, you know your value's high, but how long is Joe Budden going to want to be here in this situation? Well, if anybody that knows Joe Budden history, I have no problem exiting. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joe, I have no problem. That's the problem. I guess they invest in you and they want to invest in promoting a show and then you can't you need leave. You need you need balance. Mm-hmm. You need balance. So that's the problem if that's your perspective or it could be a really good thing. Like it was cute in the beginning when they put the little disclaimer thing there that, Yo, these niggas about to say some wild shit. So mm-hmm. we not. It was cute, but when you stop looking at the cuteness, I understand why it's there. Joe was a hothead. Mm-hmm. Uh, we in corporate America. You want to not be liable. I listen. I understand all that shit. So that can work in your benefit if you have a partner that you know you aligned with. I was never aligned with them. True. But really appreciative 
to them and everybody there, uh, Agnes, that, that whole staff, like the stuff that I learned in that year, it was imperative moving forward for me. Y'all gassed it up a little bit, though. Y'all would jump mean? out the window and say some crazy stuff. Like, Everyday Struggle was the greatest hip-hop show ever Potentially. of all time. Potentially. No way. And you should feel like so. that if that's your show. Out of how, all, how so? out, you're talking about Sway and Tech in the morning back in the day. You're we talking about we Star and Buck. You're talking about yes. all of these great hip-hop platforms. You're talking about Rap City. You're talking Yo, about 106 and Park. Yo, MTV Raps, you, Joe. You do know what the word potentially means. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, given some time, I would never, you know, I'm not that arrogant. It takes time, though, I, a lot of time. It, take, it takes a lot of time, but, you know, what me what, what me and Ack and, and those people were building, what we accomplished in that short amount of time, if we were projecting, yeah, we got all them niggas. I got all them niggas if we projecting. That's how much faith I have in, in me mm-hmm. as a broadcaster. That's a heavy statement. Yeah. We need to, listen, I would be a hater if I said, like, all the rappers from last decade is better than all the rap. I mean, it's better than all the rappers rapping now. Like you want tomorrow to be better than, of course, yesterday. Like I watch you all the time. Give props to the people that 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 mentor you and the people that you look up to and idolize. But at no point do I take it as Charlemagne uh, ain't in the same realm or don't get just as busy as niggas. Like we can have respect for people and uh, yeah. and know that we we get busy. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. True. Let's now, talk about this podcast. Yeah, because there were some issues, I guess, up here on the Breakfast Club. No, there was not ever any issues up. There. And you know, I, 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 listen, we've I never, say never had, had issues. Why, the funny and thing listen people to say what that, happens behind. When I have what a problem with Joe, says. I call him. Like, I, oh, I so, text him. Envy well, has the last time envy, envy had a problem. Envy too. has had problems with me throughout the years because we have a personal relationship. <laughs> It's never been a business beef. It's never been like, yo, Envy, why are you not playing my shit? Like, mm-hmm. it's never been, yo, it's been, yo, we care about each other. I don't like how you, and it's been that. Charlamagne and I have had mad friendly beefs. Mm-hmm. Like, I think we hate each other for some reason. I actually like Joe Button. But I, I'm not even talking about with Joe Button. So what do you mean? I don't know. I thought I saw some back and forth on social media. But with, you could never... That, with DJ Envy. You didn't have an issue with... Who, me? With Joe? No, not with Joe. With We're Rory? The, yeah. Oh, no, Rory said some stuff on, on, on the podcast about They both me say shit up there like about these niggas. I thought it was disrespectful. <laughs> and he's entitled to his opinion, but like I said, I'm not going to let you talk shit about me and then come on my platform to promote your what shit. What did Rory say, though? I really never heard... I mean, unless I'd be missing it, what did Rory say about Envy that pissed you off? Uh, I, mean, I listen to damn near every week. But, but, no, what Envy is talking about was probably from like two years ago. So, <laughs> you know, it's one of the things that Envy heard and caught on to. Like, <laughs> a lot of, yeah. He it might have. It, it, it was a bunch of things that he said, little sl- slick stuff. And I was mad at Joe. And the reason I was mad at Joe is because, you know, the, the Breakfast Club is, is we all play roles, right? So if and this is what I told Joe, I said we all have a certain role that we play. That's what it was. So if it's if it's if we have Kanye up here and let's say Charlemagne's going at Kanye and it's getting uncomfortable, my role is to make Kanye feel comfortable so he's open enough to answer the questions. You rub Kanye, do. you rub Kanye down. Let's move him over. <laughs> See where he goes too far, but, but that's my Listen, role. he flies out to rub him down. <laughs> he hops on a plane. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. He's wearing Yeezys, talking about black power. I don't know who Charlamagne is. last week. Knock it off. You a snitch. <laughs> First but, of all. But there's roles up here, and he, 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 he was saying some slick shit, and I didn't like it. Rory doesn't understand radio. I can tell. He doesn't come from radio. So he gave an opinion of a nigga who don't understand radio and Envy got spicy, cursed me out about it. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. He shouldn't come up here. Right. You can't come up here and promote your stuff on my, you know, after going at me. It don't make no sense. And then when you get mad when I say, no, you can't come up here. I'm well, here to promote stuff. Yeah, I don't have a problem with Rory other than he's white. That's all. I, I just sometimes it, white. sometimes it just rubs me the wrong way when I hear white people talk about the culture in a certain way. That's all. John, I really just wanted to know how he was white in a kappa. Like, you I, I used to do a podcast with, with a guy who, with a white guy he talking about the culture. But he don't talk hip hop. What does still mean? He still has he still a podcast. podcast. Hey, am I allowed to talk about rumors? Yeah, yes. go ahead. Of course. What's the word in the street, man. What's the word in the street, Jeff? <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the word I in the street, a, Jeff? I, I, took a, I took a couple weeks off. The black, uh, the black was hot. Nah, what's no. Your the black was hot, Joe. Joe. What you heard, no. Joe? No. The black Tell was hot. Tell us what you heard, Joe. No. Yeah. What'd you hear? Uh, you know? I heard Charlemagne. I mean, had enough of that nigga. Had enough of Ooh. Andrew. Get out of here. Have you heard enough Andrew, of Andrew? is my friend. But yes, Uh-oh. I do be, I be fed up with Andrew sometimes. Is the podcast over? Nah. We, are, we are, they just did an episode. We had Damon John on last week. What you heard, Joe? 
All right, we'll, we'll have to stay tuned. I keep seeing Andrew and Cass together. I don't know. They got their own, the flagrant two. They on CBS now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Andrew, Cass, and uh, Akash. So you're going to let your co host just run off and do some other Joe, shit. Joe, that's what I that do. That doesn't sound like it's breaking I, up. I, how I can like you to prevent do people? But I think that sounds like the band is breaking up. No, 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 but I think you should want people to do more than one thing. We have something together. You should want whoever you're with to go off and do other things. 100%. The fancier Charlemagne t shirts get, the more messaging. They get he out of here. So wait, so yeah, Rory, 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 Rory and Mal can't go do other podcasts too? No, they can't. Really? No, they can't do shit. I mean, they can't. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm joking. No, I'm, I'm joking. Can, I'm joking. Can Rory and Mal not do it because you won't allow them to or because they're just not skilled enough? No, Rory and Mal can do whatever they want. You think they can carry one on their own? Uh, on their own? Alone? Damn, Joe. Yes. No. Exactly. I, that's tough to do. I'm not dissing my niggas. To carry a podcast alone, right. I listen to the people that do that. It's tough. It's difficult. It's you tough. think they could do it together if they decided to go? I'm not sure I could do it. Yes, you could. I think you could. Stop it. I'm not sure. It has, it's not <laughs> confirmed. People to bounce things it's off. Not, so doing it yeah, it's not own confirmed own is, is for me now, that now I can do it alone. You was mad at Miles at one point. Never was mad at him. You was mad at Miles at one point. They got a scrap. Everybody got a scrap for a little bit, man. I just, only thing I'd be mad at is like, I'm like, so nobody's going to tell Miles he was wrong? Didn't Miles give us too much? Didn't he say the breakfast club was over? Oh, that's why you was mad at Miles. Yeah, I, I just like, if you're going to make a that's all. I wasn't mad at Miles, but nobody's going to Miles on the breakfast club. He was mad at Miles. I forgot about that. Just you can't put wrong. a timeline on it. You can't put a timeline on it. I don't even know why he would say that. This is our eighth year. We got 20 more markets since We're that, consistent. Too. These guys Not are too And y'all, in, uh, and y'all in, in San Antonio, Antonio now. now. San Antonio now. I, I saw that. And 150 that was countries, 80-plus markets worldwide. Be, yo, you know, Joe, you come from radio. Being a nationally syndicated radio show is a big deal. Like, you got to put us in the line. When you talk about us, you talk about us with the Tom Joyners, <laughs> the Doug Banks. You better put us in that line. You got damn right. The Steve Harveys. <laughs> but he's right. The Elvis Durans, the Howard Stearns. Like, and we black. Uh, and hip hop radio. What you looking around the room for? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. You black. <laughs> you mad Ma was shitting on you, basically, mm-hmm. what you're saying. You guys are all very sensitive. I just want to say. Am I like, sensitive, though? Yes, Joe. You are Wait, how is Joe times. sensitive? Joe. Joe is sensitive? <laughs> Look at how you're yelling at me right now because I called you sensitive. You, are, you, kind of you just got no. sensitive about that. But I Joe, told you, Joe, you can invite you. Joe invited me to the show. I told him anytime I'll come. I would love Joe, to come. Joe's new show. I don't know what. We we all have podcasts <laughs> here. We, we need to do like a podcast <laughs> mashup Mesh. or a switcheroo or oh, something. Yeah, Let the, me do one with your bum ass co host. I'll kill him. Y'all yeah. could go get with my niggas, tear them up, do what you, you want. You could go do lip service. You could do, you could do one with Marissa. I would never do the Joe Button podcast. Marissa's not even on there. your podcast. What are you talking Still, about? Just How go, is that a mashup? Just go talk to her. I would never do the Joe Button podcast if you weren't there why the hell would i what would i talk to those two about whatever you would talk to joe about this feels like y'all are firing joe has shots. experience and, and joe, you right. i don't think they're firing shots <laughs> joe is accomplished like. well listen okay. if they if they're firing shots i have to allow them to do it my niggas fire shots all the time we got to do it listen the spotify move is a very industry move very corporate <laughs> okay <laughs> that doesn't sound like you at all why joe mm. you think it's industry super duper but it's it's industry in the good way because it's your way I feel like you're partnering up. I don't feel like you know you you're yeah. getting signed to anybody. No. So is that like yeah. a I'm financial getting... thing? Because they gave Amy Schumer a million dollars. Oh, I good for her. Good so for I was her. like, damn, Joe must have got. <laughs> what? Joe thinking to himself. Now I know why I said I'll never come back up here. Like I, I get it now. I'm having a blast. <laughs> Are you? Nah, honestly. <laughs> Hold on, you signed to Spotify for a million dollars? See, no. now it starts. I'm about to say, because you can make that on your own podcast no, if you I did, did that. I, I did not sign to okay. Spotify for a million dollars. More than a million. No. So why'd you sign Spotify, Joe? The opportunity, the opportunity to be global, uh, to spread my message throughout the throughout the universe. Over though, yeah. What's the SoundCloud links to YouTube. I need some help. I need some help, man. I need and you're some, still on, and you're still on YouTube as need, well. I need, I need, yeah, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. on YouTube. Staggered, staggered. Forty eight hours after my Spotify release. Weren't you in the Rosenberg in at one time? Wait a minute, I need to hear more about this I've Spotify. Never been, I've never been on the word Rosenberg. I just want to say State of the Culture, my new show on Revolt we'll TV that, is, is coming. Well, on, well, I know Charlamagne got a flight to catch. I know mm-hmm. out there they were saying I only had 10 minutes. I'm good. So. Tell, I'm good. Tell, tell about 10, 15. Go ahead. Oh, okay, see, I told after, Taylor y'all like me. After you, we're going to bring Lena Waithe in, and then everybody else on the schedule I don't care about. So I'm leaving. Hey, I yes. love Did you see that industry? Hey! I am. 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 I am
<laughs> no, uh, you want to be honest? Yeah. Now I get to see some of the people that I actually like. Mm. You don't even know who that was. That's who was that then? You know how I know you didn't know <laughs> because of the, that was the industry wave. Hey, I love her. Who is who her? Is who is that? I've seen her a million times. Who? Exactly. What's, What's her name? name? That's when you know her work, but you don't know her name. Yeah, I've seen her on her. something. But that's what I mean. Oh, I love her work. Yeah. <laughs> what have you seen? What have you seen? No, no, no. But why is that industry? industry? Because I don't know because somebody. Because everybody name. does. I love her. I love her. You know, hey. hey, but you know why that's not the case with me? Because y'all know I'll say when I hate somebody. Y'all know I'll say when I hate you somebody. You had no idea who that was. Now, you know what? And I know you didn't know. You know why Charlamagne gets on you? Charlamagne is a hater. You know Charlamagne gets on you a lot. He uh-huh. says on your podcast, sometimes you go in an artist, and then when you are up front with the artist, you don't say the same. That story. wasn't the podcast, or that, that too, but on that everyday, was everyday struggle. struggle with Jesus. But both, yes. he says that too. He said, that, I think uh, lastly was the I podcast. Think, I don't really have people on. Snitching on each other this morning. This you you apologize to every artist that came Six to everyday. It's not true. Yes, you did. It's not true. Not all of them. Ashanti, <laughs> not all of Jeezy, them. and you had smoke for Jeezy. All right, this is the thing that I maybe I'm a little lost, but when I have the smoke, the artists hear it. So I feel like when I see them, it's not the time to continue that. You heard what I said. Now you're going to respond, and we're going to have an adult conversation about it. That's that's how I see it. So you think they should come call you on it, and then y'all get into it? Yeah. Mm. Like a lot of a lot of times, like when you say the energy is different, right? Well, you know, because you up here, you do this shit. Like a lot of times, them niggas come in before the cameras come on, extra sensitive. They extra hardcore and tough. They I just love it. a lot. That's how you get Birdman moments. Well, I love it too. Yeah, I love it too. But I mean, if you're gonna come in there like that, then let's have the conversation. You heard what I said. You feel the way. Let's talk about it. If not, fuck out my face. Mm. True. I respect that. Now, now you also said your son uh, wrote a diss record about you. So what did he say on that record? Oh, I don't know. He dissed you I on know. a song. Tried not to listen to it. You don't know what the fuck he talking about. <laughs> no, I heard it. I heard it. What did he say? Uh, not things that I was proud of. Mm-hmm. No, no, he was. He was venting. So, what exactly what he said? He said I wasn't around. And I was going to ask you about that. He See, said the reason I was going to ask you about that is because can he the finish the son, lyrics? Oh, hold on, I'm gonna say the new son. You post so many pictures with him. You're around. So, your older son looks at it like, damn, he wasn't there for me. No, we're in a new generation, envy. So my older son looks at it like my newest son has way more followers on Instagram than he does. <laughs> that's that's all he that's all he sees. Right. He so he like said, but, but you the, but you do feel bad about the fact that you weren't around. No, I don't. Why not? <laughs> For your son? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a How do you not about that? No, I don't. <laughs> go, Shut up. I don't. <laughs> Why not? Because I made every effort oh. to be there. Like, it's not like I was just gone okay. and lost. So I, I made you? every effort to be there. Okay. But was through, he aware the, of that? Through the court. Yeah, you're young. So, I mean, right. you, you're young. So, that was me and his mother's battle. Like, now that he's older, now that her and I are amicable, She's married. You know, we we are great now. So back then, I, I never thought that day would come. Like, I joke with my mom now that, wow, I never thought that me and my first child's mother would get along better than you and my dad. Wow. Like, that, I never saw that day. So, yeah, no, we're great. My my oldest is with me every other weekend. Anytime he can come over and That's hang cool. with dad. Uh, he just went to the Drake concert Friday, him and Maul, because I didn't want to go. But yeah, Why did like, you want to go? I'm not a concert guy. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't trust Drake if I was you. You and Drake have a, a very uh, weird relationship. You might get around Drake, and that's when he might send somebody with an owl sweatshirt on to jump you. You think? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't trust him. Well, I have trust issues. Okay. No, I do. Don't make it wasn't, worse. I wasn't necessarily trusting. Are y'all, is y'all got a good relationship now? I would say we're all right. Okay. Yo, all the people that I beefed with when I was rapping, like, we're great now. <laughs> Man, I'm not rapping. So, I like, and I like Drake left deal. the tickets. I like I like fatherhood, Joe. Joe calls me periodically to ask me about fatherhood stuff, and, and, and I like seeing that that side of Joe, man. First of all, drop one of clues bombs for Sin Santana. Sin Santana changed oh Joe's life. I, I, I told I, her that I, when I saw her the other I day. State of the culture, my brand new upgraded <laughs> Joe so you. goddamn much. Don't fucking act like she didn't. She did, but I mean, Joe called. I can me, frown. Joe called me, be like, <laughs> so. Uh, where are the swimming classes? I want to get my, my ah! son to swim there. Like, I, I need a nanny. Where nanny. Can I find a nanny? Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's great. Right. This is great Joe. I, this is a wonderful Joe. And it's a more enjoyable Joe to be It around. is. I, I, I will say that. He has pool parties now. He has the married section or, you know, the, or, the, or I should say the together section, I ain't gonna lie. the couple that's, section. That's how you know I'm changing. I didn't even you throw a pool party section, this year. You have a couple section pool party? I didn't throw a pool party this Last year. Last year he did. I didn't. <laughs> Last year. I am. I now, am. For the better. For the better. What about your relationship with Eminem now? 
Uh, what about it? And the, and the whole team over there, because you were assigned as Shady. I think I am signed. You're still signed as Shady. I think. Okay. But you're not going to put out any more music? No, or... I'm not. No. Never? Still no. 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 no, not at all. Not even with Slaughterhouse? No. Wow. No, I'm retired. I'm retired for real. Royce, Royce wasn't, ha- wasn't happy with uh, the things you were saying about him. Oh, no. Me and Royce spoke. Mm-hmm. Me, and, me and Royce had a had a good conversation. Royce, my guy. Royce is my guy away from music. Do you so feel like I, you for, the fans forced you to say something about them? Because at first you were being respectful, respecting the situation, not saying how whack his last album was, even though it was. And then after a while, it's just like they kept pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, and it seemed like they forced you to say something. No, no, I don't think it was the fans. It really was just whatever that song was that I was talking about. That the. I don't remember the name of the song, mm-hmm. but when I heard the song, that really was my natural reaction to the song, but not just M. Like, I have a problem with artists who latch on to big movements to sell a record. Like, we don't hear you speak about these things when you're not attempting to sell a record. Mm-hmm. So that, that's not a, that's not specific to M. That's him. Well, at that moment, uh, Kanye, it's a bunch of them. It's a bunch of people doing it today. I, I, I agree with you, but I think that uh, the time is a little bit different. So I think every artist feels a different type of calling because we've never seen anything like Trump in the White House. Mm-hmm. So I think Then why don't they call you when you're not trying to sell a record? What do you mean? You say we're seeing that artists feel a different type of calling. I think a lot. Of, I think not even just with artists. I think a lot of people's voice has risen because people are realizing the BS that we have in the White House. So I think a lot of people are using their platforms differently. And some people feel like a message is more powerful when they put it in music, and maybe they don't feel like, because M doesn't talk a lot about, he doesn't do interviews a lot, period, and speak out. He doesn't really tweet or anything. I can't really say how he felt. Mm-hmm. I can only speak about how I felt hearing the song. I was glad we were able to get past it, because that moment seemed to cause a lot of tension between people, but we moved past it. And and that, that, but that was, was tough for a lot of people. You don't think it was disloyal to him? No. And the reason the reason <laughs> I say that is, uh, let's say Clue just, does some. It's like laughable. M don't, M don't have laughable. no loyalty to Yo, Joe. Yo, can you though. stop? Can you stop? Like, wait, let's wait. Uh, we, let's not do that. You don't think so? We're gonna though? have a really good interview here. Don't make me angry in the morning. No, I don't think so. You and Clue, you don't know the difference between you and Clue and me and M Envy. I thought you and M was close. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe you're not as close as the people assume that y'all were. Not like you and Clue. Like M's not on Joe's Wikipedia. You know what I don't <laughs> like? Shut up, man. Clues Clues on but you know Wikipedia. what I don't? Th- this is the part I don't like. When you say that you're not close with someone, it's interpreted as malice or a diss or like I'm. I'm just not close with him. Mm-hmm. And that's all. There's a million people. I'm not. I think the people assume that you guys were tight. I'm not responsible for people people's upset. assumptions. I don't live my life based on what other people think. That's actually a dumb assumption, though. To think that just because you're signed to a guy, there's a that million y'all are niggas really I've cool. wrapped with that I'm not, you know, necessarily the tightest with. I am super, super, super tight with Royce. So I mean, I explained to him that you know I respect his feelings, but my relationship with him is not the same as his. Mm. So I mean, you can't hold me. You can't expect me to behave in a manner that you would. Mm. And that's all. And he he, under, he understood. He disagreed, but he understood. Mm-hmm. Now, state, state of the culture. Yes. State of the culture. Will you, will you be discussing more than hip-hop on state of the culture? Hopefully. Because I feel like that's the only thing just limiting Joe Budden a little bit, that he's only always discussing hip-hop. I like. I would like to discuss more than, more than hip-hop. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's really all I got. I'm going to try to. But I feel like when you discuss hip-hop, you end up discussing other things because there's hip-hop also discusses politics. It also discusses the Me Too movement. There's so many things involved with hip-hop. The world is intermingled now. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can't talk about hip-hop without talking about a million other things. You can't Absolutely. talk about sports. It's a nice base. Yeah, you could talk about sports when it comes to hip-hop, too, because I feel like those And things... you would end up, if you talked about sports, you would end up talking about politics. You right. would end mm-hmm. up, like, it's all just one big gumbo now. Yeah. So I'm going to try to. I agree with Charlemagne. If there's, if there's some areas that I think I need to improve in and be able to maybe hold it down solo by myself, I would love to just try to be able to talk about everything as passionately as I speak about hip-hop. Because you're, you're older. You're a father now. You're about to be a husband. You was a father before, by the way. I yeah, know, but, I wasn't but I'm just there. saying. It's different. We're embracing it now. You know what I mean? Well, I tried to embrace it before. Yeah, so I just feel like, you're like it's, <laughs> it's just more to talk to than just hip-hop. Because after a while, you're just going to be this 40-year-old guy having to talk about Juice World. Yeah, but you know what? I like Juice World. I do, too. Um... You know what, though? In hip-hop, yeah, you're right about what you're saying. But in hip-hop, I feel like we need more people who are able to articulately express exactly what's going on, people that have been there. Like, I'm seeing a lot more people that that come from the industry opening their mouths now uh, and just being commentators. Mm -hmm. Like, 
So while I probably need to branch off, I'm not doing it just yet. We we need people who can who can in depthly speak about this shit. Are you doing love and hip hop this year? Man, my do- where'd you hear that? I thought I seen a Is press that a yes? release. But are, are you, you did not see a press release. I thought it did. I thought I it did. was, it was something on the blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they did. Did. Somebody they did. They did. Also. Your name was definitely on there. They did. Mm-hmm. You and Sin. So I, I mean, yes? it was more so Sin and no. you was going to be there. Is that a no? It's a no. And you're not doing it. So you're not doing it. Yeah, that's why I was caught off guard. Okay. Is Sin doing it? <laughs> Yo, why don't you? Uh, did y'all have Sin come up here? Why would we want to interview Sin? To ask her. No, Sin got other things to be doing. That is true. Sin is doing other things. Well, I answered that. No. Is Sin doing Love and Hip Hop? Well, you have to ask her. Sin is doing love and hip hop. All right. Yeah. And so Joe, Joe will be, be on it for some episodes. But you can't have her on, on it. Why y'all said that? You are a terrible, because you're a terrible liar. You're Horrible. so industry. Like you gave the super industry answer. Is Sin doing love and hip hop? You have to ask her. <laughs> but if I ask her, you doing love and hip hop? But no. you know why? Because y'all didn't see Cam. Y'all didn't see Cam on love and hip hop except for that one little date. Okay, that's so why, you said that's you're going to be on one episode. So you're not doing it, but Sin's doing it. I'm not saying anything. I am here to talk about my brand new show, State, State of, the, of culture the Culture, on Revolt TV, <laughs> yes. airing Mondays digitally, Tuesdays linear, Mondays 5 p.m., Tuesdays 10 p.m. on TV. Hold on now. So Eastern mo- time. Monday digital. Monday digital, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Live? Yes. Uh, no. It'll be live taped. to tape. Live to tape. And then it'll come on TV Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yes. Who's your co-host? But there will be different things. We're going to spice it up. We're going to be different things for digital. And I like that word. I, um, I heard Azalea Banks was going to be a co-host. Yeah, y'all heard a lot of stuff, man. I ain't going to lie. That's not true? Uh, No. Now, now, then Jay, I heard Remy Ma. Well, that would be, I, I want to hear what Envy's saying. No. You, you guys. No, I know you're a man of your word. I'm, I'm just feeling saying, bombarded. I know, I, like, you're my brother. I know you're a man of your word. You um, We talked to you about a battle. <laughs> and you bet Charlemagne <laughs> and I $1,000 each. Mm, that's true. I told We told you Hollow was going to wash you. That's true. <laughs> did you get did. washed? Yes. And I lost the battle. Yeah. You, you then never... you lied to us and told us you were gonna give us the money for change, change for change. change. You couldn't even donate to charity. Mm-hmm. Are Damn. you gonna give these I guys? I was in the money? baby store. I was in the baby store when y'all called. Hey, <laughs> marathon on the line. We got to jump on. I'm like, fam, just trying to get diapers. <laughs> like, I got you. I gotta give you a minute. So, so are you we, gonna give them their so money? Gonna yeah, I'm gonna cash app it to them now. Okay. Well, now I can. You gonna cash app it? Uh, now I can give it did to you. Did you just do a fucking ad on the Breakfast Club? <laughs> <to cash laughs> <app? laughs> no, it, honestly, I'm gonna give. It, I'm gonna give it to you guys. What kind of cash app giving you, Joe? I didn't. I didn't have. No, they're not paying me. Bullshit. No, they're not paying me. Make sure you send it to the right person because sometimes people send it to the, the wrong, wrong address. I saw Envy did. I, did that. Envy did that, yeah. I got mine back, though. Some Luckily. lucky person. That happened with me up. on Venmo one time and they, and they sent it back. They did? How yeah. much? No, how they much you fixed said? it. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was like four grand. Yeah, I sent five. I was now, sick. Joe, if there was one person that could make you come out of retirement and hop on a song, who would that person be? Uh, There's not. Nobody really? that you've. Uh, no icon. Per- what if Sade was like, Joe, I need you on this? You I don't want Sade. and Jay. Yeah, but when I I said that because you know you forced to think of something, mm-hmm. so you want to think of the legend. Try anybody on my top ten. If they asked me to do a verse, I would be humbled, and and I would give it a lot of thought. Like if Hove call right now and say, "Yo, I need a verse," I'm gonna sit down and think about it for a long time. But I'm I'm probably not gonna rush to the studio. Gotcha. So you're not gonna respond to your son. <laughs> no envy. I'm you not, get into a battle with your son. I'm not gonna respond you, to my son. What did you think of the New York Times headline, the hip hop Howard Stern, that they give to every black outspoken uh, media commentator? Uh, you mean see you, how, mean you see Charlamagne? Say, I was that too. He wanted, he wanted to that's all about that's him. They always do that. You just said, "How do you well, feel about yourself?" Yo, this is you? a spicy. Did you okay, me and Joe. Okay, I was like, who's, who's they always do that? You're just talking about yourself. Because, because I'm sure that they probably did that to Star he back said, in the day. I don't know. Do I, I, I haven't Googled it. They definitely probably did. I'm sure they did the same thing to Star back in the day. It's 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 humbling. I understand what they what they be trying to do when they when they do it. I was grateful that that wasn't a headline. They actually. Printed on Sunday, they changed it. But uh, I feel like they discredited you a little bit. Man, I'll tell you why. Because tell me why. Howard Stern doesn't even like. Podcasts. <laughs> I didn't even ask no, no, you sir. why. Howard Stern doesn't even like podcasts. And yeah, what, I know. what you're I know. doing I know. for hip hop podcasts has never been done before. So Howard's not even in that medium. So how could you be the Howard Stern of hip hop when you're doing something new in the podcast field that's never been done? before? I don't like the way Howard discredits uh, podcasting. Yeah. I get it, but eh, it's a, little, it's a little elitist. I, I don't. They say it is for amateurs. It's a little elitist. No comment. Do you have anything else for Joe? For Joe? He's I got a go. lot for Joe. He has to go say hi to somebody no, he loves out here, but doesn't no, know her no, name. No, 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 let's be honest. Y'all have had a lady twirling like this in the background <laughs> over there. Charlemagne is flying we to L.A. to Kanye's house. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm another ma- interview. I, I may stop by. <laughs> another <laughs> another <laughs> interview over here. No, no I may stop by while I'm in town, but I'm not going there for that. But wait, I'm that's just, my guy. I like I, I like Kanye personally. I got to interview Charlamagne. I do. This nigga. My book, my book will be out October 20th. This nigga is such a contradiction. It's such a contradiction. How do you feel about Kanye? About Charlamagne wearing Yeezys and. and Joe had on Yeezys, had on Yeezys, last, Yeezys last week. week oh. So he's fine with it. Time out. I don't listen to nothing Joe said. Time out. When, I, Joe, when Joe Time was out. beefing with G-Unit, mm-hmm. he came to my radio show in Columbia, South Carolina with a G-Unit hat on. Mm. I thought you were and he was tank. talking shit about the game sorry, with a G-Unit. No, he wasn't. No, I like he's, that. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like you should be able to beef with people and still wear the, wear the shit. And, and I can I can have differences. And I wore them bum-ass Yeezys on uh, laundry day, and I didn't pay for them. What brand are you wearing bum right now? Bum-ass Yeezys. Oh, I don't know. That guy could be a racist. You you don't know. He could be. Now, all the stuff we drive. Sometimes there's this, comfort the, and we not. We drink. Sometimes there's comfort and in not, not knowing. knowing. I know. Mm-hmm. I, I know. I, I know about yeah, yeah. Kanye. And you do too. And you better than that. We need you. We need you. No, no, no. He's no, about no. to be tied yeah, you in. Can't, yeah, don't try to move to L.A. <laughs> don't try to go be one of them. We Never. still need you. To. Black people Never. need you. I'm black. It's fuck. He just got a little lighter. I just That's like so, Yeezys because they're comfortable as hell. He's, he's almost your I got. I'm watching Charlamagne. Are the Yeezys comfortable? The fucking soul comes out every time you take your foot out. I'm shit is trash. Yo, hip hop is a community. Got? We we build so much you trash shit connect. up. Which one you got though? All them shits is trash. Not the desert rats. You got the seven. Look, you the only the he desert the rats. <laughs> you the only <laughs> nigga up here. No, the desert. I know. I don't know that the de- desert rat. State of the culture. My new show on Revolt Mondays digitally, 5 p.m. Eastern Where time. Did you start? Tuesdays linear, 10 p.m. This starts September 7th. She said, yeah, change the date on me. God. It starts on the 10th. Oh, okay. Yeah, September 10th. September 10th. September 10th. I'm with and, and I do have a co host. I don't know if I want to announce that now because y'all are. No, nah, yeah, I don't know if a I want to do that. Now. A co host. A co host. Who's the co host? No, no, I'm not giving it to y'all. Y'all rushing me out of it. Fuck y'all. No, no, uh, no, listen. Uh, stay tuned to my show. At some point, I am going to announce who the co host is and I I'm going to tease so. it. It's very, 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 very big. Pause. What does linear mean when you keep saying TV. linear? TV. Oh, okay. I never heard the expression. That's a, what do you like mean? That's a, that's a basic wow. expression. Yeah. Wow, he man. said linear. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I never heard it. Okay. Uh. Well, All right, that is the Breakfast Club. We just have Joe Bud in here. Angela Yee excited. clearly needs a fucking dictionary. <laughs> and that is it. I love everybody here. Don't get spicy with me. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Stay in culture. Biden, Joe Bud Goodbye. Podcast. And everybody. And it's Taylor's here. It'll be linear. <laughs> It's Joe Button. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs>